Yep, it's about time. We're gonna go out and get some hay mode today. We've got at least five days of dry weather. So we're gonna start in to get as much cut as we can. Camera to learn how to run the big mower. heavy and it's all laying over so it's being a real bastard that doesn't want to cut off in fact it's it's cutting it and then shoving it forward and trying to plug up so I'm trying to go just a little extra slow so we can make sure we get everything run through and not uh, plug the damn mower but uh, they make a I don't know, they call it a high volume down crop kit you can put on these mowers. We're gonna try putting that on. We've got a whole bunch of this stuff to do, and it's all the same. It's all laying over from that heavy winds. There you can see some of it laying down where she didn't want to cut off. This may be taking forever going, you know, two and a half, three mile an hour, but. It's doing a pretty decent job cutting. It's mostly just that far right side of the mower that wants to plug when it's into the hay. It doesn't plug you know, when it's next to my cut. I don't know. Well, anyway, we got some parts coming that are supposed to help with that, so we'll throw those on and hopefully that'll help out. And another good thing is I just got done looking at the forecast. It's supposed to be 80 to 85 with no rain for the next entire week. So we should be able to get all the hay done, do a little custom baling, and hopefully we can get the time weeder out. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get her set down quite quick enough. I hate having skips out there. A little short match right there that I just started to miss. There we go. Yeah, so hopefully we can get everything cut and bailed and certainly shouldn't have any rain on it with no rain in the forecast, but who knows? A spotty shower may come through, you know, that shit always happens. We just looked at the soybeans there before we started mowing and and you kind of scrape around on top of the soil and, and it's it's pretty much dry powder on top of you know some moisture down under, so those beans are starting to do their little thing and start to germinate, which is good. We didn't see any uh, white, hair, uh, white hair weed start yet, so that's good. That's kind of why I decided to go ahead and start mowing rather than, I was going to run the on it, but I don't think we need to run the just yet. I'll try to get that tine weeder hooked up and maybe we can run that thing in the morning or something. We'll see. Hard to tell what to do. We got so much shit to do. It's like, well, I, can, I need to go over here and I need to mow hay, and I need to go and tine weed, and I need to bring the cows up out of the pasture so we can get all the calves vaccinated, get the bulls checked, and then put them back out. There's a gazillion things to do, so just gotta do it, work through it one thing at a time. Well, we're getting the uh, accelerators put on. So that's what the shell looks like right there. There's just a, a smooth dome, and of course I'm talking about the one in the corner. But there's what it looks like with the accelerator thing on it. So it's to help really throw that hay out of the corner when it's when it's laying down, and it'll throw it out of there. I also suspect that this gouge right here is uh, catching some hay. It was a straight down notch there, and I ground it off so it wouldn't catch as much stuff. I think that was probably more of my problem, but... These will help a whole bunch. We've got the tine weeder on today. We're going to try to run over here and tine weed these soybeans for just a little bit. There's kind of uh, there's kind of some storm clouds moving over, but we're not supposed to get any. 
course, now that I've got hay cut down, you know, it, it would, you know, threaten the rain, but it's not supposed to. Anyway, we're going to run over these soybeans real quick. Got to get the soil loosened up a little bit more and hopefully mock out any little white hair weeds that are possibly coming. And we are off. Now I just got to keep it out of the fence. and scraping. trying to rake some hay and and uh yeah so that's not good ah piss look out dog and she just god dang looks like it was broke right there already and starting to peel out son of a bitch oh god dang now we got to come out here and get this stupid thing out of the way it won't that won't go through the baler Yep, so with a little rake broke, we're going to use a big rake. Doesn't really make much difference. They both work good with that hydro swing mower, or any hydro swing mower. But uh, the little one, I can always use uh, one wheel or one wing. I mean, uh, this one, it's both at the same time, and I can't lift up one without lifting up both. Uh, had a pretty good chance of storms coming through last night and ended up we did get some at about oh, 10 to midnight it was just kind of sprinkling uh, man what a freaking waste but it didn't end up doing much just very very light sprinkles but this shit's so dang heavy that the stuff way down in the bottom of the windrow is not drying and is you can see it didn't really rake up very well yesterday tried to rake some and like I said it was just so freaking heavy I wouldn't pick it up and I wouldn't rake it yeah I mean I just when it's when it's too heavy or too wet 
too wet primarily it just wants to drag and the wheels just kind of skip over it rather than rolling it up into a windrow so we're gonna try to get it to flip over a little bit today and let it sit for a couple hours and maybe I'll have to flip it over again this freaking stuff is just just too dang heavy too thick well we're giving it a shot I know it's gonna be wet uh, it looks like depends on where we're at in the field some of it's showing 16% some of it's showing 26 to 30 percent moisture right now I'm in a thin spot so it's showing 16 percent which is okay but with it with it shooting up there to you know above 18 percent all the way up to 30 percent we're gonna have to put this stuff in that plastic white wrap get the hay to ensile a little bit keep you know that way we got something we can still use rather than just having some moldy shit bales we'll be able to feed these to the cows with them ensiled the cows will love them Anyway, I mean, it kind of looks like it's dry in spots, but down on the bottom, because that stuff was all laying down like that, where I did get the mower to pick that stuff up and cut it off, that stuff was so freaking wet, it was almost rotting in the windrow. So, you know, whatever, we got to do something with it. We got a chance of rain coming through tonight. And this stuff being this it's already raked you know it's only going to get worse so i figured what the hell we'll we'll wrap it and, and make some good hay for the cows see there she's saying 16 percent 1500 pounds that's not terrible it's still a little heavy so you know she's you know she's going to be wet when she's heavy so i guess we'll just kind of see what she does there she's so an average 19 percent so you know it's going to be wet I mean, god dang, we got to do something with it. We can't wait forever. Ah. Yep, that's the bell wrapping guy. Another very important factor to making ensiled haylage. That's what they call hay when it's been ensiled, is haylage. You have to get this stuff away from moisture away from air I mean within 24 hours of it being baled or it's gonna start molding in the bale and then you wrap it and it'll have mold already growing so we just baled that stuff this afternoon got all the bales moved down here now we're gonna go ahead and get her get her wrapped up in the tube same guys we've had to do in the past for us guys there's what the machine looks like you set the bale down up in here, up in the little trough. It's got a big hydraulic cylinder that shoves the bale down. And then there's wrap that goes around the bale this way as it shoves it through there, it wraps it, and then poops it out on the ground. Okay, and here we go. Starting to wrap it. There's one row of 25.
there's row number two done. Last one. At least we got some of the hay put up that I know will be good quality. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you again for coming along and watching and checking us out as we're trying to get a first cutting of hay put up for this year. And you guys know the deal. Hit that subscribe. If you got any questions or comments, hit me up down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and give us a share if you would, please. It's helping out the algorithms more than you know. All right, guys. Catch you later.